I think we are here. The source of the supposed abductions of people hiking and camping. There's a campground nearby. We are wasting our time here, man. I have a wife waiting for me at home. And I am out here investigating a horror story rumor that is obviously false. This is pointless. Well, if anything, at least it's a nice walk in the woods, even though it is freezing. Besides, we can never just write something off as a meaningless rumor. It at least needs to be checked out. Well, you know, I am glad you are enjoying your nice little late-night walk in the freezing cold forests of northern Arizona. But I would rather be warm in my home next to my beautiful wife than freezing for nothing. We get things like this all the time and it gets on my nerves. Again, you can't just write every report off as a lie. Campers missing is not even a baseless claim. We get that a lot. I understand the number of missing persons reported is higher than usual, but we have to check it out. Whatever you say, dude. Well, we didn't even need to go very far. Seven empty tents. These tents are probably big enough to hold. I would say four people. Uh, dude? What is it? Bring the flashlight. Hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my God. There's blood. What on earth happened? Dude, look. There's an animal print. It wasn't a human that did this. It must have been a bear or something. Dude, we have to get out of here. Are you kidding? We can't just leave. Adam! We have to go now! Jake, relax. Dude! Look around you! People just got mauled and dragged off! We are literally dead if we don't get the hell out of here. Wait. What was that? It stopped. What the hell? alert for Code Nino County, Arizona. This is not a test. Multiple missing persons reports have come in over the last 30 minutes. These people are believed to have been abducted and are being held in the Kaibad National Forest near Williams. Due to the mass abductions in the area, police advise all residents to remain cautious when outdoors. The perpetrator and the motive is still under investigation. But this is an extremely dangerous situation and the missing residents are believed to be in extreme danger. Remain indoors at this time. Report all suspicious activities to the local authorities immediately. If one or more armed intruders enter your property, you are allowed to defend yourself by arms or any other means against the threat. Please stay tuned to local media and television stations for more emergency information. And we begin our stories today with an overnight attack on campers in Williams by allegedly a wild animal in the area. According to authorities, multiple people were reported missing late last night and were later discovered dead in the Kaibab National Forest. A lot of residents have shared with us that they believe that the attack could have been caused by bears that escaped the popular tourist destination, Arizona. However, there is no evidence to support these claims and the Arizona Wildlife Park has denied the allegations that bears have escaped the park. Employees at the park reported the same number of animals accounted for as last night. The park has also openly said that the new security measures in place would make it very difficult and almost impossible for the animals to escape. The measures that our park has put in place is exactly to prevent things like we are being accused of last night. There's absolutely no chance that an animal, I don't want to say no chance, but it's incredibly unlikely, almost impossible that any of our animals could have escaped. Uh, our security is very, very well balanced, and um, there's a, there are wild animals across our parks, but there have been no animals that have gotten out of Arizona. The Kaibab National Forest Campground and other campsites across Kaibab National Forest has been temporarily closed until the threat has been neutralized. 
While there are a lot of reports on what could have done this, I want to make clear that there are no confirmations on the perpetrator of the attack, but many investigators have described seeing bodies appearing to have been mauled. There is still a lot more information needed on this incident, but we will report back on this as soon as we get more details that are important to the situation. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Coconino County Sheriff. This is not a test. Multiple 911 calls have come in about an unknown creature breaking into property and homes and brutally attacking residents across Williams and Red Lake, as well with other homes along Arizona Highway 64. All residents of Williams and surrounding communities are being asked by local authorities to lock all doors and windows immediately. Do not go outdoors. If anyone breaks into your home or property, you are permitted to use arms to protect yourself. This creature is known to forcefully break into doors and windows and brutally kill their victims. Some victims have been dragged away from their properties and into the forests. Some doors and windows broken into appear to have burnt holes and chewed out appliances. For further protection, barricade doors and windows. Take you, your family, and all necessary supplies to a safe room of your home. If you see any suspicious activity, or any injured or killed persons, call 911 immediately. Stay tuned to local media and news outlets for more information. Apparently the residential area where a lot of people were attacked. I don't even want to be here right now. I mean, what is the point? To just get us killed too? Well, we have to do this. So may have to. Whatever. I'm just saying, this is crazy. Hold on. What? Holy shit! They're all dead. All of them. No, they're not a soul alive. They've all been torn apart. Oh my god, I am going to throw up. What the? Dude, look. Wait, what is that? We need to run, now. Ah! Investigator report file 330972. 23 investigators missing. Nine killed. Only five of the nine bodies have been recovered from the scene of the attack. One of the bodies was taken to a forensic laboratory analyst to retrieve DNA from the fluids of the monster. Despite heavy loss, if we are able to retrieve successful results, we will have succeeded in our mission to identify the subject. While this information might not tell us everything we need, it is still pivotal information that should help us understand what exactly we are dealing with. Results may take a couple days to complete. As soon as we get results, we will send an immediate report. Until then, we will refrain from sending any more investigators to the scenes of attacks.
head to a safe room immediately. Take up arms to defend yourself. For further protection, barricade your home and safe room. Secure your home and safe room as tightly as you possibly can. Remain sheltered until instructed otherwise by local authorities. Light approach on foot. Stand your ground and stay sharp. Rustling bushes to my left. It's here. Lock and load all arms. Prepare to fire. What kind of creature is that? It's ready to attack. Fire. Several emergency messages for Flagstaff and surrounding areas. Residents of Flagstaff, lock all of your doors immediately. The infamous and extremely dangerous creature that has terrorized Williams has breached law enforcement and has entered the Flagstaff city limits. All residents of Flagstaff are urged to take the following precautions immediately. Lock all doors and windows. Close all fireplace dampers. Cover all cracks on windows with tape or a damp towel. If you hear a growl or howl outside of your home or building, stay as quiet as you possibly can. You are advised to gather all essential supplies and move to the safest area of your home away from windows. Have a weapon with you in case you have to defend yourself. This creature is extremely dangerous and has killed several people across Coconino County. Flagstaff police are asking all residents to remain indoors until further notice. Stay tuned to local media and news outlets for more information on this dangerous situation. After days of analyzing, we have received DNA results of the creature that has been terrorizing northern Arizona communities. The creature is known as the Maracta, a once believed to be mythical fox wolf-like beast that roamed North America in the mid to late 17th century. Its return to the world defies natural law and can only be described as supernatural. I know that claim seems very absurd and exaggerated, but there's simply no natural explanation for this not for a candidate species. Police and military personnel are unable to engage the threat due to its abilities to be well hidden before it devours its prey. Some doors and windows have had holes burnt through them, which indicates an unknown ability within the Maracta. Civilian attempts to use armed defense against the Maracta have failed miserably. 
the consider that the creature is resistant to firearm attacks. Taking down this creature's attack is far too great to achieve with modern armory. We will have to come up with a better decisive plan to bring this creature to its knees, but that will be very difficult. I will update you all when I have more available information. Civil authorities have issued an evacuation immediate for all of southern Coconino County, including the cities of Williams, Parks, Belmont, Flagstaff, Kachina Village, and Munns Park effective until further notice. This is an immediate evacuation order. All residents in the warned area are required to evacuate immediately. Due to the widespread danger caused by the creature now known as the Maracta, the communities are unsafe. Law enforcement cannot eliminate the threat. They cannot help you. You must evacuate you, your family, and your pets immediately. Follow Interstate 17 south towards Phoenix, and Interstate 40 east or west. All residents must get out now. This order is in place to protect civilians from a great danger. Do not delay or hesitate out of fear or skepticism. Evacuate now. If you don't, you are placing your life in extreme danger. This creature is ruthless, and has overrun multiple law enforcement officers. It can also break into homes, including barricaded buildings, and hunt down its prey. The only way to protect yourself now, is to evacuate. Follow all instructions from local authorities while you're evacuating. Repeating, follow Interstate 17 South towards Phoenix, and Interstate 40 East or West towards Winslow, or Kingman. Friday night, rain and snow. Lows around 18. Winds west at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Chance of snow 100%. Snow accumulations 5 to 8 inches. Saturday, rain and snow showers in the morning, then mostly cloudy in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-30s. Winds northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saturday night, mostly clear. Lows around 22. Winds light and very... You fools. There is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to hide. You cannot escape me. You have no idea who you are dealing with. I will find you. The clock has ticked for this wicked place. I will enslave your soul in my eternal pit. You are all mine. Ah ha 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 ha. Hey, no weather radio. This no weather radio station is temporarily off the air. Please tune to an alternate weather radio broadcast or visit weather.gov for the latest weather information. We have discovered a new and unique ability of the Maracta. This discovery has shook all of us and is a great threat to not just the state, not just the country, but the world. The Maracta has the ability to clone himself into multiple different bodies and spread through what we can only describe as teleportation. Maracta appears to be driven by some sort of demonic entity as there is no possible way. This is not the work of the supernatural. There has also been several hijacks of television and radio spreading so-called propaganda messages of humanity's doom and the power of the Maracta. The Maracta is able to manipulate sound waves and broadcast. 
broadcast his own messages. We are totally unaware of how to possibly stop this thing, and we have accepted the unfortunate grim possibility that there may not be a way to stop the entity. I am not sure how to go forward about this. I am not one to give up, but it seems like we are fighting an unwinnable battle. We will remain in high spirits as long as we can, but this is very grim. Goodbye. Persons alert. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. This is not a test. Up to 56 people have been reported missing in the East Scottsdale area. In addition, 15 people have been killed at the scene of the abductions. The wounds of the victims do not appear to have been inflicted by a human being. Rumors have come in that the perpetrator could be a creature that has terrorized the northern Arizona communities. For your protection, lock all doors and windows, close all fireplace dampers, cover all cracks on doors or windows with tape or a damp towel, and seek shelter in the safest area of your home or building away from windows. This thing has just struck the entire state with fear and paranoia. And to make things worse, the Maractus clones have been spotted in multiple areas across the state. This literal demon from hell has brought such terror, wrath, and destruction to the people of this state, and has overridden armed resistance from police, armed forces, and defending civilians. Nearly 1,000 people have died in total, due to Maracta attacks across Arizona. Law enforcement is on the brink of completely giving up the fight against the Maracta, with the Flagstaff police captain stating, this creature is simply unstoppable and beyond natural strength. No natural mortal force can successfully overcome this threat, but with the help of God, we will eventually win. But it's just an extremely scary situation. Civilians can't defend themselves, Armed forces can't defend the public or themselves. And it's no wonder many are just surrendering. It's an unbearable feeling when your job is to defend the public from terrible danger. But you can't. You simply can't. The governor of Arizona will be holding a meeting on what to do going forward about the Maracta. Unfortunately, if we can't figure out some way to stop this thing, we never will. This is a threat like no other. Not only is Arizona at risk, but so is the United States. The demon is waiting to take down a state to strike fear in the country, and then take down the global superpower of America to strike fear in the world. This thing must be stopped soon, or humanity is at risk. Regardless of what any of us believe, we need to pray. What else can you do? This monster is showing and flexing its might, and no one wants to fight it anymore. It's not because these people are quitters or cowards. It's because the harsh reality is that we are not enough. I've never felt so helpless in my life. I can't believe there is no way to stop this thing. Not one. Hope is lost. What do we do, Sarge? <sighs> we can't go on, gentlemen. Let's face it, there is no way to defeat a supernatural force on our own. We have no choice but to surrender. Surrender? You have no idea how much this pains me to say, but... Who the heck are you? I know how to stop the Maracta. Kid, get out of here. We are not here to play games. Neither am I. Do you want my help or not? How can we trust you? How do you know how to stop the Maracta? 
because me and my brother have close relations to him, the entity that took on the form of Maracta after it awoke decided to pay our house a visit due to my brother Khalil messing around with, I guess, things that are meant to summon spirits. It told us its plan and told us that we and his other followers are spared its wrath. It doesn't want to destroy America or the world, just Arizona, because the last person who defeated him was in Arizona, or the land that is now known as Arizona, since Maracta was defeated in the 1600s. So this thing can be stopped by a living being. How exactly do we stop him? The Maracta has one thing that can knock it out, and with enough of it, possibly kill him. Zinon. Oh, great. So the rarest gas in the world. How in the hell are we going to find Xenon? I have some in my lab. I can give it to you. Then you can hunt down this creature and throw the Xenon at it. Only one thing. It has to be the main creature, not a clone. You can tell the difference by eye color. The clones have red, shining eyes, while the original Merakta has blue. The clones can only be defeated with the defeat of the original. Therefore, to wipe out the clones, we have to go for the original Merakta. Do we believe this, Sarge? Why are you telling us this if it is so close to you? Because it decided to father my brother and leave me for dead. It betrayed me, so I am returning the favor. Now come with me. Order all officers to lay down arms and wait. I swear, you better know what you are doing, sir. Everyone is counting on you. It's right over here. He was telling the truth. Quick, return back to base, rally the troops, and prepare for the hunt. It's time to end this. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Save the thanks for when you win. Good luck. gentlemen, our final stand. We will fight till the very end. For our people, for our state, for our souls. Hoorah! How do we know this is where it's located? Our inside tip gave us the Maractus direct tracked coordinates. We are here. Copy. Everyone stand your ground. Look alive. <laughs> we hear him! Ah! Don't lose it! Throw it! Throw it now! I can't! What do you mean you can't? No! Never! You stop 
infamous is your downfall. Men! Men! I'm alive, Brad. We did it. We won! Everyone's dead. The Maracta is gone, but it took all of my men with him. These brave men will be remembered for their ultimate sacrifice. They never gave up. They put it all on the line to even have a chance to save us all despite low odds. They were the true heroes. This is an administrative message for the state of Arizona. Please listen closely to the following message. The Muracta who is responsible for over 2,000 deaths has been captured by the Arizona Army National Guard. The Muracta was successfully contained by armed forces and has been buried away safely. The spirit that possessed it has been eradicated. This is an all-clear message. The threat to life and property is over. However, multiple damages have occurred across the state due to Muracta attacks. If your area is damaged, please remain in your shelter until the National Guard comes to extract you from the area. You will be taken to a FEMA-designated shelter for the time being. Please provide necessary identification and proof of insurance with you to the designated shelter. You should include medical records, social security, and insurance information. The Arizona state government thanks you for your cooperation during this difficult situation. Repeating. This is an all-clear message. The threat to civilization has been contained. This message will repeat every five minutes. Um, hello, my name is Victor. I wanted to record my survival experience from the grilling creature known as the Maracata. To be honest, I don't even know how I am still alive today. A few nights ago, I was just sleeping as almost everyone else is at 3.27 a.m. in the morning. But then I heard a very deep echoing roaring howl from outside. It was very close. I woke up my entire house. My roommates tried to get weapons to fight because they all knew that sound. But I was unfamiliar. Waiting for the creature to break into the home, they had their guns ready aiming at the door. Then the door busted with a howling howl and roar. They tried to shoot at it, but nothing. I stormed straight at them and tore them apart. One of my roommates was dragged out to the patio. I saw my opportunity and ran into the closet. I must have thought no one else was there, but it searched around and then left. 35 minutes later, I wanted to check around and everything was ravaged. Blood everywhere, the entire house destroyed. I couldn't even recognize the place. I will forever have a scar in my head remembering what this demon did to my friends. It had to have been driven by a demonic force. There is simply no other way around it. I'm just thankful to be alive. This is, this is my story. And thank you all for listening. And I am wishing you all safe.